What is up everybody? It is Wick here and I'm shipping out some stuff and then we're going to go thrifting. Stuff I've sold on eBay. I got 17 orders going out this morning. Not going to go over all of them, but here's a few. But right here I got these Ariat boots. Um, I picked these up recently at Salvation Army. They were missing the little pull tab on the ends here, but I still got $54.66 for them. Next, I'm shipping out these Brooks GTS 17 shoes. These are like size 13 double wide. They're not in the most perfect condition, but they still sold because they're Brooks, which is a great brand, and uh, the size, which is big and not available to a lot of people who need it. Maybe the great thing is I only paid 50 cents for these at a thrift store, and I sold them for $42.65. Technically, I sold them for $29.95 plus shipping, but that's my total in the end. Next, I'm shipping out this Pure Filter. Only sold it for $13.95, but I also only paid a quarter for it at a thrift store. Next, I'm shipping out this Dremel Grout Removal Kit. I paid like $7 for this at Home Depot. Sold it for $23.95. Next, I got two separate orders for these Dremel Go screwdrivers. Paid about $13 a piece for them. I think I bought about 20 of these. Um, been selling through them at about $39.95 a piece. And here goes two more. So there we have it. We got a lot of orders packed and ready to go. I don't know how many trips it's going to take me to go into the post office. Got a couple things going UPS. I can't even remember now if I had any FedEx. It ended up being over 20 orders. But I'm going to get this stuff dropped off. It takes some work, but you know what? I love the profit. So before we actually go thrifting, I want to show you what I picked up yesterday. I wasn't doing a vlog. And there's some awesome finds here. Got this Steelers um, Pro Line sweatshirt here. Nothing super fantastic. Vintage. But uh, what was the price on this thing? I think the, no, that came from Goodwill, so it was $4.59. Probably sell for about $20, $25 plus shipping. It's hard for me to leave like vintage stuff on the shelf, even if it's lower end. Then I just picked up this Bezer Wizard game. It was $3.99. I picked this up because another Goodwill had one for $6. I wouldn't pay it. It looked like it was cleaner. All the pieces are probably in there. And of course, I'm lucky because I can return this within seven days if the pieces are not in there get my $3.99 back on a gift card. So I didn't have to sit there and try to count all the pieces. I just buy it. The problem is though, a lot of times I'm lazy or I just get distracted and I don't actually count it and the week goes by and then I get to it and it's missing a piece. I'm like, Ugh, I need to be more proficient in that. So I've set up a system where everything I need to test or count within seven days, I put it in a pile in a tote. But right now this is selling for about $30 used. It's selling for about 90 new right now, but that's because Christmas is over. And a lot of the prices on Amazon are still very high because of Christmas. And you got to be careful if you're selling on Amazon because you'll look at something and be like, wow, that's selling for $30. And then throughout the year, it'll just keep dropping down to $15. Uh, just remember that those reflect a lot of Christmas prices where everything's just selling higher. Will I save this until next Christmas so I can get the $30? No, I'll probably price it at about $25 maybe try 30. You're not going to make a lot of money on it. I just picked it up on a whim because, you know, I could make a little bit of money. I picked up this Darth Vader um, character or figure holder. You can see it opens up there if you're not familiar with it. And you put all your little Star Wars characters in there. I think this is the one, the old one. I, I think they remade it in the 90s, but I believe this is the older one. I'm not sure. I only paid $4 for it. It's worth about 20 plus shipping. The labels are still intact in there because they have a, a name for each figure. I actually had this when I was a kid. And again, it's just one of those things that maybe it's not really worth selling. But for me, it's worth picking up because it's just cool and I don't want to just leave it on the shelf. But these were an incredible pick up. These are Hoka 1-1s and they are very clean. It's been a while since I found a pair that I could actually buy and sell because they're usually just destroyed. These are Bondi 5s and even pre-owned some of these were selling for around 100 bucks. I'm thinking I'm going to be able to sell these for $89.99. I don't know if Goodwill wrote these sixes on the side but that's ridiculous if they did that. These were $5.99 so maybe they wrote a six there. Uh, but they're also size six, so I don't know why that was written on there. It's one thing if you're writing price on the bottom of the shoe, but when you start writing it, <laughs> you can see it. That's just getting really bad. I'm thinking I'll make 60 to $70. I'll have to do a little more checking on the comps. 
but wow, what an awesome shoe pickup. But we're about to go out, hit the thrift stores, and find some more stuff. We are at Goodwill, and this truck is filled to the max. Passenger side, completely filled with stuff. Is it a reseller? Is it a hoarder? I don't know. Uh, I see vehicles like that a lot at thrift stores. But we are now inside of Goodwill looking for something to flip. These aisles are still pretty bare. Um, not a whole lot of stuff going on. Not a whole lot of new items I'm seeing. But we have to look because there could be something good. Some sort of um, waffle maker type thing. Um, sandwich maker. Breakfast sandwich maker. I don't know what it was exactly. Um, price pretty high. So I don't know if those sell well, actually. Um, I know the single ones don't do that well, but that was a double. So maybe I should have looked it up. Here's some plush. Taking a quick glance at it. Didn't see anything. Went through it more later. Didn't find anything either. But we're in the games now. And I spot this Simpsons Clue. Um, they sell pretty well, especially the third edition, which is more rare. So I put that in the cart. Unfortunately, when I checked it, it was missing pieces. There's a Handy Manny. I've actually picked up two or three of these at this point now, and I'm just waiting to find the tools. This one was a little bit beat up and wasn't working, so I don't know if the batteries were bad, but I put it in the cart. I was considering buying it. By themselves, they don't sell that great, that particular one. I'm looking for the tools, though. Maybe they're around here somewhere. There's some tools there, but they're a Fisher-Price um, set, not really what I'm looking for. And uh, what else do we have here in the games? Any new games? A lot of this stuff I'm looking at, I've I've saw it before, so I'm not going to, you know, be messing around with it. Duck Dynasty board game, not too great. There's some play school kindergarten blocks. I'm like, hey, these might be worth picking up. What's the price on these? Looking around, like, oh no, no price. Flip it over, $14.99. That's that's too much. Um, maybe if they're five dollars. They're probably missing blocks, so, you know, I'm not going to mess with that. And I'm not seeing a whole lot. There's a random shirt hanging there. I'm not sure what that's about. It's a Ouija board up here, and some of those are worth picking up. I've sold a lot of vintage ones for good money, especially sealed. Uh, this one's just, you know, the newer one, $2.99. I think it was selling for $13 new on Amazon. I put it in the cart, though, just to check it out, because you never know. And, uh, let's see, a pig. Not sure what that pig is all about. Uh, what else we got here? Toys, you know, it's hard to look at every single toy, look it up, and know exactly what's worth money. So I'm just looking for more unique things that I notice or haven't seen before. So there's a pit card game. I thought this was going to be worth picking up. I don't remember why it wasn't. I put it in the cart, and I'm like, oh yeah, but this is good. I even considered buying it for myself because um, it's kind of a trading game and I'm into trading and stocks and all that. Uh, yeah, not. I put it back for some reason. I'm not sure why. Oh, what else we got in the toys? It takes a long time to look at the toys. And that's why I like to record more because people can point it out. Everything I put in my cart, I had to put back for a reason or another. It wasn't worth picking up. But I did come across this for $12.99 and this was definitely worth picking up. Of course, I go over everything at the end of the video and show you how much I expect to make. And now we're over at another Goodwill, looking at some electronics, moving into the toys. And over here, what do we got? Any sports equipment? Ooh, is this a Nerf football? Nerf spiral or, you know, some of those vintage footballs can actually sell for good money. That one, unfortunately, missing a big chunk. Wasn't Nerf anyway. I don't think it was even the Poof brand. Oh, uh, what else? Board games over here. Anything new? Uh, I go in this Goodwill every day, and <laughs> you see the same items. So not seeing uh, anything new there. Toys. Not seeing much of anything. Just at a glance in this preview footage. There's a Woody. Not necessarily a high-end one. So ended up putting him back, and guess who? Guess who's not worth anything? What else? Kind of look like a Polly Pocket kind of toy. I'm not gonna. Well, I would buy a Polly Pocket toy if I found one, a vintage one, of course. I don't think that's what it was. Checking out this plush, trying to figure out if it was something I might want to look up. There's a pink dolphin staring at me, kind of creepy. 
don't know why it's just staring at me like that. But I'm not seeing anything, so let me know if you see anything I may have missed or something that may have been worth looking up. Over here, we're looking at some stuff. There's a flask for $2.99 uh, filled with alcohol. Uh, it wasn't. It was empty. I have found alcohol for sale at a Goodwill before. Um, there's some beer that was still filled. Um, there we have. Goodwill was selling. I doubt they have a liquor license, but you, know, <laughs> you never know. Um... Yeah, looking for any kind of good cookware. But we move on. We move out of the city. We go to St. Francis. And last time I was in St. Francis, I found some great items, some ink. I made a couple hundred dollars on, almost. So, I'm not seeing that today. I am seeing some new items over here in these bins. Some calculator type items and new remotes. So, yeah, I did go through these pr pretty thoroughly. Uh, when I was not recording, so <laughs> I wouldn't bore you going through each remote. And uh, yeah, didn't find anything. Didn't find anything worth it. I like to buy remotes for combo units when I see them. And uh, DVD recorders. Or really any remote that's worth money. Uh, over here, Sylvania. That was there last time. I spot a, a blank Maxwell tape. Or Maxell tape. And I put it down. Uh, I do this a lot when I'm recording. I see stuff like this. I'm like, oh, I'll look that up. I'll put it, I put it down. Uh, I could just put it in the cart because I'm trying not to, try to save myself some editing, right? And um, I didn't pick up the tape. I just forgot to pick it up. I did pick up the organizer, whatever it was there. Um, <laughs> so it happens. Uh, we're looking through these bins. And what are we finding? Not much. Um... Yeah, I picked through this, I think it was the week prior, so not a lot of new stuff. Um, plus there's stuff I've seen there for years because they just price it too high and it's not marked down ever. Digging through these random bins, find some San Antonio Shoe Company shoelaces for 99 cents. I don't know why I put those down, I'm like, oh, they're not going to be worth looking up. But I could have bought them, I buy so many of those shoes, <laughs> I could just replace the shoelaces in like a high-end pair. I don't know why I didn't pick it up. Oh, well. Um, <laughs> not really that big of a deal. Here's a filter for $3.99. I ended up putting it back. I thought At first, I thought I was going to buy it. I was only going to make like 3 or $4. Over here is one of these Auric XL um, air purifiers, I think it is. I've sold these before. Uh, I don't like to pay more than $5 for them, I remember. Maybe they've went up in value. Maybe they've went down. I didn't look it up. Uh, $14.99. I couldn't test it. Couldn't return it, really. So, um, yeah, I just ended up leaving it there. Yu-Gi-Oh! box, some cards, unfortunately. Just empty box. I don't know why. I, I guess I can understand why they'd be trying to sell the box. Maybe somebody wants it. Uh, here we're looking. Just the bags of toys. There's some chess and checker pieces. Not really what I'm looking for. Maybe if they're, like, really awesome chess pieces, they'd be worth selling. Some of those do well. Down here we're looking in the bins. And, uh, yeah, not seeing a whole lot. I hate the shoes in St. Francis because they're always priced high. Here's some San Antonio Shoe Company shoes. $24.99. Yikes. Not for me. Uh, I don't even pick that style up, really, um, even for $5, unless they're just absolutely mint. Those were clean. Uh, but that's how it is here with shoes. All the shoes are priced high, but I did find a pair. These coach shoes. I didn't even really want to buy them. There were two pairs of coach shoes sitting there. One was priced $14.99 and the other didn't have a price on them. So I'm like, oop, they made a mistake. Usually they won't sell me stuff if it's not priced. So I figured they'd tell me to put them back. So I got them for the $5 base shoe price. So, you know, it is what it is. Here's a Sony remote. I believe that was for a PlayStation 3 Blu-ray. Uh, maybe that one was. Either way, they were priced $4, which is kind of high for remotes and... The one was only selling for 8 the other for like $13. I have to test them, um, clean them up, you know, to make like $5. I ended up putting it back, unfortunately. Uh, just didn't want to mess with it. Maybe if I was making at least 10 bucks, it would have been worth it. There's a picture frame that wasn't actually new. It just looked new. Digital picture frame. A lot of those aren't worth picking up. Some more remotes up there, just junky remotes. DVD player. Uh, there's another rewinder. I've been finding some of those recently. 
uh, not worth picking up. And I'm restricted now in Kenyo, which is a major um, rewinder company. So I don't know what that's about. Seeing anything else? No. Junky camera. Here's a PlayStation um, controller. And, oh no, Xbox controller, just an off-brand. It would have been sealed, it would have been worth picking up. I think they had like $7 on it, pre-owned. Eh, not worth it. Looking at the games, I never find games at this particular Goodwill. They're picked through. Um, kind of trying to see if there's any rare sports games. There's an NCAA, but that's, you know, not a good one. The later NCAA football games are worth money. I think it's 14 um, is where it stopped, maybe 15, but 14 or 15, if 15 exists, definitely. Here's an alligator. I thought this was really cool, and I was looking for a name, and I couldn't find anything on it. So I just ended up putting it back. And um, unfortunately today, my GoPro ended up going out. It just stopped working, and I was like, oh no, did the battery die? But it turned out it was just, it just needed the battery removed. So I didn't get a whole lot of footage of everywhere, but at this Goodwill, Here's a five disc Sony changer, 599, two of the exact same model. What this tells me from experience is somebody donated these, one doesn't work, one does. Um, that's why there's two of them there, that happens a lot. Basic DVD player in that white tote there, not worth picking up either. And uh, I'm not seeing a whole lot in this Goodwill either, unfortunately. And um, yeah, toward the end of the day though, I did end up starting to find some stuff. It is that time. We're going to go over the haul today. I didn't feel like I was finding much while I was out today, but it turns out I did pretty good because there's a few power items here. Usually, quantity-wise, I just find more, I guess. Um, I just was kind of depressed as I kept going to these thrift stores, seeing the high prices and coming out with nothing. But yeah, it turned out to be actually pretty good. Right here, I got this food sealer there. You can see the model number. It was $5.99. I saw this and I'm like you know what I'll look it up saw it was selling pretty well used but I'm like I don't want to buy it because I don't want to have to test it it's going to be hard to test without the plastic sealer bags that they have for it and it's just not worth my time but I decided later to go back over and look at it before I left the thrift store and I said if there's plastic in there I'll buy it because then I can test it and well there is a roll in there so I'll be able to test it if it doesn't work I will return it, get my $5.99 back. But it looked like I could sell this for about $40, $45 plus shipping, so I think it's worth my time. Right below here, we got this helmet. You can see the price was originally $99, $7.99. The helmet does appear to be used, but it's in pretty much like new condition. These are still selling for around $100 new on eBay. Saw a couple selling for around $40 pre-owned, so... I'll probably price this about $40 plus shipping on eBay. Right here, we got some of these Bose speakers. Kind of made a mistake on these. They're, they're kind of dirty. $5.99. Um, of course, they'll clean up pretty well. I looked them up there. Uh, what model was it? Companion 2, Series 2. I typed that in eBay, and for some reason, the eBay searched Series 2. Or Companion 2, Series 3. And the comps were a lot better. I thought I was going to be able to sell these for about 60 bucks plus shipping. The Series 2, they only sell for $35, $40 pre-owned. I'll test them and then if they work, I'll clean them up. List them probably for about 40 bucks plus shipping. They'll definitely move because they're bows. At St. Francis, I picked up these coach shoes only because St. Francis had some ridiculously high shoe prices. I even had another pair of coach shoes that were priced 15 bucks. So I had to pay, I think, $5 for them, which is their base uh, shoe price. Um, I have went up there before with things that didn't have a price on them, and they won't sell them to me. They say I have to come back tomorrow. It'll be out and priced. I'm like, just go price it now. <laughs> just frustrating uh, that thrift stores, there's more than one thrift store that does that. I mean, they're not in great shape. I didn't buy these to just, you know, make a lot of money. Just kind of like, hey, St. Francis, you... Forgot the price these, so <laughs> I'm going to sneak out of here with them. You know what? I think these probably sell for 20 bucks max used like this. Maybe only 15 Either way, I, I'm hoping to make at least $10 on them. I can be stubborn sometimes. Here we have some Yonix tennis rackets. These are an incredible pickup. They're both $2.99. They're in really good shape. 
They got some paint scrapes on the side here, unfortunately. They are V-Core 105s. And the only V-Core 105s I could find on eBay, they were new at 150 bucks. Now, if you look for 100s, which I'm assuming is the, the older model, you're getting a lot of sales in the 60s, 70s, 80s. So between these two rackets, I should make at least $100 profit when they sell. Probably try selling them for 60 bucks a piece. Maybe even more just simply because the, the only one on there is a new one for 150. Now at the same Goodwill last year, I picked up some Yonix badminton rackets, four of them for a dollar a piece. I've sold one for 80. I think another one for about 150. I still got a couple more holding out to get, you know, higher prices because they're rare and I'm pretty sure they're sell. It's a great brand uh, to look out for, tennis rackets and badminton rackets alike. In fact, I didn't even look these up. I just grabbed them and put them in my hand for $2.99. I knew I was buying them. I knew they were at least going to be worth me listing and making a little bit of money. Turns out they they seem to be pretty good. I picked this up at Goodwill, $1.99. Uh, oh, I paid $2.99 for it. I thought for sure that was $1.99. Weird, that kind of hurts my brain because I could have swore that was $1.99. Anyway, um, I'm going to make about $12 on eBay or Amazon rather on this. I'll just send it in with a shipment. Picked this up at St. Francis. Is a dollar ninety nine, and there was a, some that sold between fifteen and twenty bucks. So I'm just going to price this at twenty dollars. It'll ship first class. Might as well pick that up. This turned out to be a great buy at twelve ninety nine. It is brand new. It's sealed, and it's selling on Amazon new for hundred and forty some dollars. If you're not familiar with Amazon, stuff like this sells all the time for that much. I don't know what it's actually worth or what it actually sold for originally, but I'll probably send this in for about $140 and I'll probably get a sale. If nothing else, I'll mark it down a little bit, but I think I'll make $100 in the end, at least on this thing. And then finally at Salvation Army for $14.99, I picked up this Betamax Recorder Sony. It is very clean and I looked up the comps on this and some of them working are selling upwards to 300 bucks. You see it's got the remote there. Um, I'm going to have to order a tape to test it, I think. I'll make money even if this thing doesn't work because people are, will pay 100 bucks for one of these not working. Plus, um, the remote looks like I can sell for 40 bucks. So you can't really lose on these. They're heavy and kind of annoying to deal with. But it's hard to say what I'm going to make on here um for the estimation so i'll just say i'll make 150 dollars more if it works less if it doesn't but there it is that's the haul everybody not a lot of stuff but some pretty good profit if you enjoyed the video please hit that like button for me on the way out i really do appreciate it and i really do appreciate you watching you can find me on twitter instagram flipping underscore junk and this has been wick until next time